Um, right guys, my heater, I mean, just to recap on, on this sort of small but important job, you know, replacing the final stage resistor on these L322s, mine's a 4.4 V8, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I had a diesel one before, and it had the same problem when the final stage resistor packed up, I guess I'm not lucky with these final stage resistors, but I think a lot of you will have to replace this at some stage or the other. I've started up the car, my fan has always been slow, not as powerful, no hissing, basically rubbish. I've just replaced the final stage resistor, it's fitted in and I'm about to give it a go and let's see if it works. Um, so I'll just turn that on. I mean, as you can hear, I'm really happy, I don't, it doesn't sound like it, but I'm really happy because I, I've never had this since I bought this vehicle, I've just bought it. I'm the second owner from new. As you can see, today's date is the, obviously that's today's date. The um, mileage is 89,000. I'm the second owner from new. Uh, I've spoken to the, I've, I've every single bill for this vehicle and typically this one had to go, but it's 40 pounds from Duckworth Land Rover. This is an original Land Rover part. I've shown you the, uh, the packaging and obviously my invoice. I mean, for you guys, if you, if you haven't got time or anything, that is the business. That is sort of the uh, um, Duckworth Land Rover. I mean, they're based in, the address is 101 London Road in Curtin, which is Boston, Lincolnshire. Uh, the number is 01205 722110. For those of you in the UK, as you can see, my vehicle is a right hand driven vehicle. Um, there were so many confusing and conflicting uh, 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 videos on, on how to change a final stage resistor. I only know the location of my one, which is driver's side, as you can see. The panels come out. I have very simple, guys. I mean, this is the first time I've ever changed a final stage resistor in my life. So, if you, if I can do it, as you can see, it's plugged in there. That's the same one. That's the FSR or final stage resistor. It's plugged in there. I didn't have. It wasn't screwed in. I just pushed it back in. The important thing to remember is to push it back in as far as possible. Because I pushed it in the first time and I thought it was in, then I thought I'll give it another go. You push it in and you'll know when it's in. It's important that it goes in right into the motor, not not obviously with excessive force. Use reasonable force. And now, opposite of reversal, rear fitting, this was the last off, which becomes the first bit on. I mean, sorry to go on and on, guys, but it's kind of, kind of difficult for um, for people who don't really sort of fiddle around with vehicles and stuff um that's the plate there and obviously that's that goes that way and you plug in your um pdc you plug in the pdc thing in there the buzzer don't forget to connect your light in i mean the cable for the foot thing in there it props up here and you've got sort of you've got one, two, and three, four, and five. And that's it, five Torx head screws to hold it in. And that's it, job done, final stage resistor done, heating's working again. Didn't cost me anything but forty pounds, other than sorry, forty pounds and 20 minute job that's it job done any questions feel free guys this is sort of self-taught a lot of stuff i've learned from forums and stuff guys if i can do you can do i recommend always getting original parts if you're going to do these kind of things yourself it doesn't it doesn't pay in the end to um to to scrimp on things like this because obviously it'll take you longer and it costs you more in the long run if you keep having problems with your final stage resistor and so forth and so forth. Sort it out before the winter comes and then you're good to go. Thanks a lot guys, thanks for watching.
sorry for going on and on and repeating myself. But just all I want to do is help people who are stuck. You know, these things happen and keep the Land Rover community going. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you.